Hey, this is Seth with InDemandCareer.com. I show people how to get jobs in digital marketing with no previous experience or education, even more so during the coronavirus situation where everything is moving online and people need digital advertising and people with digital expertise even more. Uh, but right now, I just wanted to talk to you about my thoughts on this whole situation. I'm, as you can see, I'm, I'm still in Thailand and I, I had planned on being here all year anyway, but may not have a choice because of uh, travel restrictions. Um, I'm pretty lucky to be here on this island. It's pretty calm here. I uh, can still go out, keeping, the beach is pretty empty, so you can see we're not, people are, we're keeping our distance from each other. So anyway, I feel kind of weird uh, doing, making this video in the middle of the beach when people walking by. Um, so I wanted to get a little more, um, more personal and connected. So listen. You're gonna be okay. Everybody, the world is going to be okay. It's gonna, it's shaking a lot of shit up and it, I think ultimately it will force people to reevaluate their priorities, you know? I think my friend Chris posted, it's like, if you, if you had a shitty job that you didn't like and <laughs> this happens and now, and then when it's over and you're free, don't you dare go back to that shitty job. Don't you dare avoid living the life that you want to live. This is a wake-up call for a lot of people. To appreciate life, to appreciate the small things, to appreciate being able to see your friends, go out to dinner, go to a movie, go to a concert. All this shit's being taken away. And in my experience, you know, when I was younger, I was really sick. I, my health was taken away, quote unquote. I didn't have good health. I had major, major health issues. And so, when I was about 20, I had this metaphysical experience and I had this healing and my health issues pretty much went away. And I was so fucking happy. I appreciated food, I appreciated life so deeply for about a year or two. And then I got like, this is the human condition, you know, I got stupid again, I got complacent, I, I stopped appreciating. But I think life, you know, gives us these opportunities that you can look at it like opportunities. You know, there's um, that book, you know, the, the Diary of Anne Frank, that I never understood this because this is a girl who was hiding from the Nazis in an attic and she's writing all these wonderful things about humanity. And I never, as a kid, I was like, what the fuck are you smoking? How can you be so optimistic while you're hiding in an attic with your family from these people that want to murder you, the Nazis? But she had that human spirit. She had that beautiful heart. And so in this, a time like this, the fear is so toxic. I, I've been overtaken with it myself. You know, I've um, felt the feeling of kind of hopelessness and pain. I've done enough emotional work where I allow myself to feel these feelings. I might cry. I might do uh, some of these exercises I'm, I'm going to share with you guys to release the negative emotions. But it's, it's still there because everybody's experiencing these things. People's shit is coming up. And if, if your shit's coming up, if your fear is coming up, your insecurity, your, your issues, that's perfect. It's a perfect time to do some emotional or mental work on that stuff. And uh, you can actually <clears throat> be grounded and centered during this time and be proud of how you conducted yourself and how you were. And so that, that actually, it's funny because I looked at um, what's been happening with the course. You know, people are still buying the course and I think it's awesome because they're really going to benefit from it. And those folks have a great attitude. You know, I take, it takes some balls at this point to be spending money in a time where people are very uncertain. So some people, you know, write to me and say, uh, you know, hey, this, this is happening. Are you going to lower the price? And then other people are just like, well, this happened and my job is kind of screwed up, but I'm going to save up and I'm still going to, I'm going to take the course. And I thought, you know, forget about the money. It's your attitude. You know, the person who's just like, ah, the world's falling apart, but I'm still going to commit to learning something and I'm going to provide value and I'm going to grow. That is so amazing. You know, if you can keep yourself committed to creating something, to growing, to the, to the you that you know exists outside of this pandemic, you will feel much, much better. You know, I, um, I went through a couple of days where I was really... Um, I was feeling really low, you know, and I, because, because I initially, to be honest with you guys, I initially dismissed this, you know, I thought, oh, this is the media, they're hyping this shit up, it's a bunch of bullshit, well then, it got real, right, 
and it shocked me and I was like fuck and my parents are in Los Angeles my sisters had a baby I'm an uncle which I was so happy about but now they have to deal with all this craziness and uh, and then I realized I forgot like I, I lost my connection to my to the beautiful things in my life you know I have a beautiful girlfriend I have this beautiful business where I help people I'm in this beautiful place and I and I slowly I realized what I had to do was almost like pulling yourself out of a pit. Like, first of all, I had to stop watching the fucking news all the time. I had to, I only look at the news a couple times a day. And I had to start refocusing on things like making videos like this, working on my new course, um, supporting my students, you know, and, and creating stuff. Like, being creative is the best thing, but really it's reconnecting with the part of you that is inside of your heart and your, you know, your creative mind that is there, was there before this all happened. And look to see what's coming up. You know, you, you'll definitely experience fear, anxiety, maybe anger, all this shit. And, and anger is totally normal. I was feeling a lot of that myself. Um, but if you allow that stuff to flow out, so what's underneath it? You know, I actually, uh, one of the things that excites me is I've had this mentor for 20 years. He's amazing. Joseph. Absolutely incredible. Changed my life. Made me into the guy I am today. And, uh, you know, he, he's wanted to partner with me for a while. I've never really wanted to, I've never wanted to commit to partnering with him. He does this emotional work that is so fucking needed right now. And because this is happening, I was like, okay, I'm fucking partnering with you. I want to help you get your teaching out there to more people. And I wouldn't have thought that way if this hadn't happened. I would have just kept, you know, I'm still thinking about my own, my own shit my own goals my own business you know now i'm more thinking like how can i support more people emotionally you know how can you support people how can you that's another thing if you start to think about other people it helps you get out of your own shit your own head but you know what positive thing will you bring out of this crisis you know you're talking to your kids or grandkids someday do you want to like say oh i was one of those people that you know bought out all the toilet paper so that other people were left with nothing or you know like was was I was I one of those shitheads at Daytona Beach? <laughs> those little shits are partying on Daytona Beach with no regard for the fact that they could be infecting all these other people. So how do you want to behave during this time? You know, I think this is a great time to buckle down, you know, meditate, um, learn something new. If you're in the course, you have no excuse not to study at this point. This is a great thing. I love people that, oh, I have work. Well, now you have a lot of free time. Learn a new language, learn an instrument, um, reconnect with your loved ones, even if you have to do it over Skype. Um, Reevaluate what you want to do when this is done. Because you're going to be like a prisoner getting out of prison. You know, you have your whole life ahead of you. And, you know, the small things, the small things like, like I said, meeting with your friends. I mean, geez, right now, I'm very blessed. You know, I'm, but I was kind of uh, socially isolated before. Like, I. I don't like being near people at restaurants or movie theaters. In fact, I sit as far as I can from people normally. So this is not that different for me. But it's just me and my girlfriend, really. I don't have that many friends out here. But when I'm back in the States, I'm thinking, fuck, what if I couldn't go see my friends? Um, or go out to a movie? This is, it sucks. But when you have that, now now you, you took that chip for granted. We all did. Now, even traveling, I'm like, I can't go, I can't go to any other countries here. <laughs> and... To have that freedom back, to have that back is going to be amazing. I think that whenever this does break, there will be a surge of, you know, people have a lot of pent up, you know, pe you're, people aren't spending money on alcohol now. That's a great thing. I think they're not blowing their money on bars. Um, there's going to be a lot more um, uh, a desire for, for to, to, to do these things. And my girlfriend is signaling me that it's time to leave. But anyway, guys, um, there's no magic pill to get out of this, but... I said I think if you if you take it seriously your, your mental emotional health during this time you will have a much better experience and uh, please leave comments questions below let me know what you're thinking if you have any specific questions I'll try to make videos about those and I will see you soon stay safe stay safe and you're going to be okay all right I'll see you